Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, let's have a look at this one. It was question two on the 2014 paper. Um, part A was prove that cos 2a is equal to cos squared of a minus sine squared of a. So very much like the one we did um, in the last class, which was in the 2019 paper. Um, let's go to our log tables. Let's go to the trig identities. Um, and I'll come back to this page in a minute. But if you remember when we did that question, we remembered the cause of 2a could of course be cause of a plus a. Okay, um, that's another way of writing cos 2a. Okay, so basically I'm proving this one here. Okay, so when I break it up into cos of a plus a, it allows me to bring in this one. Okay, why am I not using this one, for example? Well, that's a division one and it's a bit too far away from this one. So it's probably easier to go back to basics and use uh, cos of a plus b. So it's equal to cos a cos b. Cos of a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. OK, so that's the trig identity we're using and you need to write that down somewhere. OK, um, so how am I going to use it here? Well, I'm going to say the cos of a plus a is equal to, so I'm going to sub in here, my b now is going to become an a. OK, so I'm just mapping my angles onto here. OK, so that this is going to become cos of a my angle B is now also A, so this one's going to become cos of A as well, minus sine A, sine A. And then quite simply, that's cos of A squared, which can also be written as cos squared of A, minus sine squared of A. And I'll go back and write that as cos of 2A. OK, so not a bad old one once you understand where you're going, which is essentially this, breaking out the 2a into a plus a. Right, part B of that question then was um, the running track, OK? Um, the diagram shows part of the circular end of a running track with three running lanes as shown, here, here and here. The centre of each of the circular boundaries of the lanes is at O. Kate runs in the middle in the middle of lane one from A to B as shown. Helen runs in the middle of lane two from C to D as shown. And you know that as you move further out a running track, uh, you, you end up running further, okay? You have a bigger arc to run around. Helen runs, oh, there it is. Helen runs three meters further than Kate. OK, simply because she's on a, a much wider circle. Um, the angle AOB, AOB is equal to the angle COD, which is equal to theta radians. If each lane is 1.2 metres wide, find theta. OK, so I have to find the angle. OK, so, so you're, you're going to ask yourself, what shape are you dealing with here? Okay, I'm just going to to do um, who's that? Kate's Kate's run around that 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 sector. Okay, so again, log tables. Uh, there's a page on it that deals with sectors. It's here. Okay, and there's two pieces of information. The, that they give you formulas for. They give you for L, which is the length of a sector, um, and A, the area of the sector, okay? When theta is in radians or when theta is in degrees, okay? So we're obviously in radians, so we're up here, okay? We don't need the area of it, but we do need the length of this arc here, 
Okay, so the formula we're going to use is L is equal to R theta. Little R theta. Okay, so in other words, uh, the, the length that you run about is of course equal to the distance you're out from the center by the angle that you run through, okay? And you can see that when we come to Helen, the angle is the same, but the radius is longer. So that's why um, Helen ends up running further. Okay, um, so we don't have a whole lot of information. I'm gonna use that formula though, to figure out this angle theta. So I need my L, I need my R type thing, okay? And I don't have much information about them. So all I have is relative measurements between Helen and Kate. So if I get a thicker line, if I call this length here, if I call that R a radius, okay, then can you see then that I'm just gonna add on the extra bit that is going to be Helen. How much further is Helen out? Didn't it give us the width of one of these tracks? Uh, yeah, 1.2 meters wide. So I would argue then that Helen is or plus 1.2 meters. Does that make sense? So whatever distance that or is, I, I don't know what it is. Um, but in many cases, when you're when you're comparing like this, the ors will end up cancelling. That's why I'm not worried too much about what the or is at this point in time. Okay, so Kate is or Helen is or plus 1.2. Okay, so if we figure out how much they ran, then let's compare how much they ran. So Helen runs three meters further. Helen runs three meters further, okay? So so would you agree that I could write down R theta then is the same as R plus 1.2 theta, but I'd have to subtract off the three meters from it. So to explain that again, okay, the two of them are running around the track, okay, Helen, the same track, Helen will end up running further because she's out further, okay? And she's out 1.2 meters further. So in other words, the width from center to center, which is the width of one of those lanes. So the, the, the length Kate runs would be the same as the length that Helen runs if I take off the three meters extra that she runs. Okay, so... Um, I hope that 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 makes sense. Um, so let's solve it and see where it brings us. So I end up with R theta being equal to R theta plus 1.2 theta minus three. Okay, um, numbers to one side, thetas to the other, okay? So I'm going to bring the three over this side to make it positive. And I'm going to bring all the thetas over this side. Okay, so in other words, I'm bringing him over to the right and I'm bringing that minus three over to the left. Okay, and you can see R theta and minus R theta cancels there so that I'm left with three being equal to 1.2 theta and divide by the number in front of theta, what we want. And that works out at three divided by 1.2 2.5 is equal to that angle. So 2.5 uh, radians is that angle. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So the big takeaway from this one, you, you don't always need to have all of the numbers when you're doing comparisons. Um, but what you're always trying to do is to set up two equations that equal each other, okay? And then in many cases, when they have a lot in common, such as in this one, they had theta in common, they had that distance, that radius distance in common, um, you can see that it'll somewhat cancel.
okay, uh, which is what I was kind of expecting to happen. Okay, so I, I hope that makes sense. That was that um, 2014 question. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.